Hello everybody, it is time to automate the world. That is right, we are back with Factorio as played by an engineer. Season 2, episode... Yeah, 3 or 4, something like that. One of those two numbers, 3 and or 4. Um, in between last episode and this episode, I made some very minor changes to oil production here so that we could... Uh, there. So that we could... Um, you know, have a good backlog of resources. And I did also begin bring pipe up water so we can begin running that down our bus as well. And I'm forgetting one other in my other in my test world I'm running down four different liquids, but for the life of me I cannot remember what that fourth one is. So it must not be overly important. Let me see here. Yeah, these three are the only real important ones. And even then, I don't even think I used water for anything. I'm just running it down the bus just in case. So today's episode, we're doing something ambitious. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get science pack level threes up and running. So this one's going to take us a good amount of resources to do because... Oh, this is going to get old as fast. You know what? No research. Let's let... The factories catch back up here. So for this one, we're going to first make our advanced circuits. And we're actually going to run those down the bus. Then we're going to do the... But even before we do that, we need to make plastic. So let's get plastic taken care of. Are we going to need plastic for any other portion of this? No. So plastic is relatively simple to make. It's just going to be one coal and 20 petroleum gas. Which means we need to run something else down the bus. A good line to draw from here. That means I'm going to need coal. And I'm just going to run a single line of it down the bus. I don't think I'm going to need it for anything else other than this one instance here, but. Yeah, I'm just going to run a single line of coal. It's going to look kind of weird, but this is honestly the best way that I've been able to figure out how to do this, is just run coal down the line. And it's not like I'm going to be using up very much coal. And when I get my um, electric furnaces all taken care of, I'll just bring something up from down here. But for the time being, I'll probably... Um, let's see, here's my coal deposit. I'll probably just bring something up and over. But for the time being, this is what we're going to do, because this is just simple, it's straightforward, it's right here, and it's taking me forever to get this done. Yeah, we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Almost there. Oh, finally there. Finally there. And I think I can just run this like a normal bus. Am I already out of... I am. I can't wait until I can do uh, fast belts and stuff, but fortunately that's kind of getting shoved by the wayside for the time being, because we got more important things to do, like actually research fast belt, or very fast, whatever. I can do, technically I can do fast belt, I'm talking about the blue belt, which I need, I don't remember what it is that I need to do that, like automation three or something, it requires, um, Requires blue science, I remember that. There we go. Inserter capacity. Eh, it's around here somewhere. I did see it, I promise you. That's another thing I need to do. Purple science. Breaking force, that's for trains. I don't know if we'll get around to that this season. Maybe a season three deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do not see automation 
three. Oh, there's automation three. Well, no. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can liquefy coal in this with a couple of mods. Where is that? You know what? I'll find that on my own. Oh, there it is. Logistics three. So I'm actually also going to need purple science, which I don't really know how you make. How the hell do you make purple science? They've changed up, like, everything in this game. So, you know what? Green science, or blue science, is one step on the way to getting stuff done. I was not prepared for the update that was uh, 1.5, so my whole my whole plan for the series has kind of gotten um, eradicated, so I'm just trying to uh, recover them as best as I can. So the week before I was I was planning on premiering this, we updated to 1.5, or not 1.5, point, point 0.15. We're still technically in the, uh, I think we're still technically, this. I think this game is still technically in alpha. Somebody verify that for me. Alright, so let's run. So in order to make plastic. Need petroleum gas, alright. Oh wait, that's right, petroleum was the other thing I needed to run down the line. Okay, that makes some sense. I'm gonna have my petroleum split between these two things. So that makes, that makes sense. That was the other thing I was running down the line. Crap, just ran out of pipe. Uh, this is hard to see, there it is. I might have to make a separate a separate portion of this just for making petroleum gas strictly for the production of plastic. But um, that'll be across that bridge when we get there kind of deal. Hopefully I'll have enough time to do... Uh, Blue science today. I'm, I'm thinking here that I know that the, this process takes a while to make, get everything together for blue science. Actually, creating the red or the advanced uh, circuits are going to be the toughest part. Once I get that done, I should be um, pretty much scot free. Let's get this kind of laid out here. So here's my coal. I'm going to need two chemical plants. As that's what I did last time was two. I did two or three, but two should be adequate for right now. One, two, three, four, and then start placing. I'm going to place this one up a little bit more and over. Make sure I have plenty of room. There we go. And that's going to do plastic. And I want one more chemical plant. So we have a little bit of space. There we go. So let's first bring up. is the petroleum gas. Actually, 
yeah, this should be fine. Yeah, that's gonna work. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Actually, no. What I want to do is I don't want to give one preference over the other. I don't. If I put, um, if I basically bring my pipe here and connect right to this, this one will always get preference over this one. I want these two to have semi equal preference. And notice I say semi. semi-symmetrical here. I still haven't figured out a really, really good way to set up, like, piping. It, it Just piping is not something that I have figured out, like, a really, really, really good design to do. Still working on it, though. We'll look for coal coming in right about there. Light this area up. There we go. Let's get this area <laughs> lit. I promise I will never do that again. do this here. Um, you know, it looks like I am going to have to transport some of this line right here underground. Yeah, that'll be fine. Underground belt, underground belt, one more underground belt right there. Perfect. And now, haha, -ha! plastic production. Oh. Ah, haha, -ha! plastic production. Yeah, the moment's dead. belt. So now that we have that done, that's the easy part. What else is going to need plastic here? I'm planning out ahead here a little bit. I know these are going to need batteries. Flying robot flames, because that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. That's going to be sulfuric acid. I don't have to worry about that quite yet. Is anything else going to need plastic? Immediately, no just advanced circuits. So what we'll do then here is we will run, kind of do this. We'll just kind of run kind of a, a, a small little belt then, just like a small, like I did with the belts here, just another, yeah, the belt here, the belts, the belt of belts, belt deception. So then I'm going to need two electronic circuits and copper. Let's do copper here. I'll bring this off a little bit. I want to do copper cable right about here. Where is copper? Should be like a raw resource or something. There we go. So just so that you guys know, when I like copy and paste stuff over, I'm hitting shift, left click, to copy and then paste. I know that's kind of a trick that you just 
like look up and stuff. What am I doing on robots? I'm gonna need a few more. Wait until I get robots and do blueprints and stuff. It's gonna be great. So I did get a few requests a while back to do um, Bob's mod with the uh, or Bob's mod with the Angel Lords and stuff. I am looking into that as a possibility for an upcoming series, but as of right now, I am very confused when it comes to Bob's. So um, that's going to require a little bit more research on my end to get that done. So what is it going to? What is blue science going to require the most of? Blue science is going to require. Oh wait, nope. Hang on, there we go. Four copper cables. So we'll let that go on the inside here. Let that go on the inside. I will let that. Yep, I'll let the plastic go up with that. One, two. Now this is just the starting amount of advanced circuits that I'm going to produce. I am honestly going to overhaul this production a lot. This is only the beginning. I actually plan on having at least triple this going. But this is just for the time being. Actually, yeah, that should be okay. But I really don't like how close I made this. In case I decide to rearrange anything, I want a, you know, a significant amount of room to work with. That's the thing that um, you gotta keep in mind. There we go, that should be plenty. It's the one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're doing factorial run-throughs is don't put things too close together. It can, running out of room is the number one cause of frustration whenever I do my factorial runs. beginning. How fast are these able to produce? They produce two every second. This is considered a lot of seconds. Can't wait to get the blueprint for the f just four straight lines. 
of belt. I don't have to keep doing this. I'm really ready for logistics robots and stuff. Like, this is a long time coming. Oh, and um, one more thing. If there's enough interest in it, if, if any of you are curious and I can generate enough interest, I'll do a quick run-through also on a nuclear power. Just because I know that's new and I have looked into it a little bit. I myself personally don't think I'm going to utilize it because I create mass solar farms. Because, you know, that's just kind of how I do things. Like either all down here or all up here, maybe fill in that lake or whatever, it's just going to be a massive solar farm. Just because that's how I roll. I like solar power. In real life, I don't think solar power is quite applicable, because I personally believe that with all the lead and stuff that they put, that they use to make the batteries and photovoltaic cells, um, I personally don't believe that solar power is quite necessarily the future. I don't believe it is the future now. But I say give it a few more years, and I'd be gung-ho for solar power. There we go, look at all that. Oh yeah, that's why I did so many, because it's gonna take forever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? It's gotta be sixteen. It's a good programming number, a power of two. Ah, oh, that's more like it. I remember why I did so many is because it's a very, very slow process. And I actually do start running, um, I'm just going to call them the red circuits. I do end up running red circuits down my bus. So it is very important that I am able to mass produce these on a huge scale. Looks like, hmm. Okay, it looks like once we get past the initial part in here, I'm, I'm just worried that stuff isn't gonna end up making it down the bus. So that's one thing I got, that resources aren't gonna end up making it down here. So that's one thing that I gotta keep an, an eye for. That's why I left so much room in between between all of my, um, between here and there to make sure that plenty of copper's getting down the bus. Because if it isn't, I will need to improve upon the process to make sure that copper can get up there. Doesn't look like it is. So what I will end up doing is probably try to get some, oh, it looks like I might need to produce a few more. I'll end up just shoving a bit more down the line. And I'll uh, go ahead and fix the process later. For right now, I'm just going to get the general idea down and I'll fine tune it um, off cam and then I'll, you know, show you guys what all I did. It does look like some is getting down there, but I don't believe it's enough. So this is the first time in a very long time that we're actually going to be returning something to the bus. But since I want to get 
Actually, no, I'll do that right now. So we're going to do this. Nice. So from here on out, I'm running two sets of circuits. That's getting ran now, so then that is... Oh, God, we're already almost at a half an hour here. Crap. Okay, so really fast, let's do... What else do I need? I'm going to need... Blue Science. I'm going to need an engine unit. Oh, crap, that's going to take a lot. A lot. Actually, engine units are going to be something else that I'm going to need. Ugh. I'm already at a half an hour, and that's a little bit longer of an episode than I wanted to do. So here's what I'm thinking. We'll stop it at advanced circuits. That is good progress. Next episode, we'll come back, finish up blue science. Because engine units, I want to do something different with this, because engine units basically turn into electric units, which turn into my flying robot frames, which gets us robots. So... I'm going to end up running something similar to this down the line, and then I know something else is going to require... Oh, hey, this recipe did get changed, because I remember this taking up, um, requiring uh, purple, or the sorting arms. Yeah, the filter inserters. Okay, so they did change up that recipe. Well, that's why this looks so different. So next episode, we'll build the engine units, we'll do the electric mining drills, then we'll come back and start re being able to research the blue science. In the meantime, I think I'm going to fine-tune the red science production. Yeah, I'll fine-tune red science creation so that I can have all inserters working full, full blow. And I think... Yeah, that's what we'll do next time. So... Next episode, we're going to do that, and then we will kind of, and then we'll go from there. So thank you all again for watching. I really appreciate how much attention this series has gotten. I am very happy to bring it to you guys. This is perhaps uh, probably my favorite series that I'm currently doing. That's probably what I'm going to do, do something like that. But uh, yeah, in the next episode, guys, we'll finish off Blue Science. We'll do a few other things, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. But that is all the time I have. Until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.